So I have no idea what I'm going to call this. Or if this is just going to be an intro. Mm. Testing, testing. Yeah. Hopefully this works. Cool. Um, welcome to my channel. <laughs> I was going to do some sort of intro, which is like, how are you? That's great. I'm glad to hear that your dog started sneezing again. Like something obscure, but I honestly don't really know. I've got a cat in the background. He's just jumping at anything and everything. So if you hear that, that's probably it. I've got my coffee, which the un de la shot will definitely pounce out if he has a chance to. So I'm going to... I love a good milk moustache as well. It's a good look. Anyway, um, I just felt like doing a YouTube video. Wow, look at all the coffee. I made it just a second ago and I was like, ah, I should record something. I have zero intent as to what. Um, I just wanted to record something. I guess one of the things that really inspired me to kind of start a YouTube channel was that I would often do videos like this where I just talk and... I just love being real and I guess open. Real's not the right word for it. I don't like the word real. I don't think real's the right word for it, but I don't know, maybe open um, with the camera. And yeah, I guess that's what this is. So I have no idea what I'm going to call this or if this is just going to be an intro. Um, but we'll find out, I guess, in a second. Um, I guess a bit about my life at the moment. I am still in quarantine um well not quarantine i'm in lockdown um still at the moment um it's been fun it's been chill um i've been very lucky to oh man this cat is tearing apart one second i need new toys for my cat if you have any suggestions please write them in the comments because he's desperate um there's like a sheet of paper that had all the people i was inviting to my 21st which is obviously not going to happen now which is fair enough um but he's been delightfully shredding that <laughs> um um but yes anyway um yeah so not much has been happening um i was going to originally write a do a whole video on like the obsession with um the f like what is it called free spirit sort of person just because i've been watching love struck in the city and it kind of um, pretty much, for those who don't know, Love Struck in the City, um, it's pretty much based on six people um, who, and they're like, stories with relationships, all of them are largely intertwined, and one of the main couples, um, what ends up happening is, it's not really spoilers, you find this out in the first episode, but um, pretty much the main girl, um, who's called Lee Uno, I think, um, she goes to the beach or somewhere in Yangyang I believe and pretty much she takes on a new identity for herself because she had a really hard time and so she escaped took on a new identity which was quite free-spirited at the same time during that month or two there oh my gosh you were causing chaos um she ends up falling in love with a guy and the guy falls in love with her and she just goes with things because she's free-spirited she doesn't think about the consequences however when they return to Seoul Obviously, um, she ends up just leaving him, no explanation. And yeah, it just got me thinking about the free-spirited person because in her time at the beach, around her, a lot of people admired that. And even myself, I found um, watching the show, I was like, wow, I, I want to be like that. I want to just run away and, you know, just live out life, have that adventure, right? Like she did. And even the main guy fell in love with that, right? But often we forget a, that kind of overrides against the consequences. Um, and the consequences being that you see Elaine in the show, like breakdown of relationships and all that sort of thing. And you see the same thing in Mamma Mia, like um, in the second one, where the whole idea of, I think, Donna just running off, having like this supposedly like beautiful life in terms of I wanted to run away to like Greece and go on an adventure after it but like it resulted in her having a hard time because I think even though she loved her daughter and she wouldn't have it any other way it was still like that's some hard consequences to have to raise 
a kid by yourself um, in a place that you only just started getting used to for a few months. Um, she did have support, luckily. But it's just so interesting, this idea that we, like, admire it. We admire this, like, courage to, like, just go and, like, go for it and go for the adventure. And I admire it. I just want to, like, run away, to be honest. But we don't necessarily want to take that on for ourselves. I find we admire their confidence to not worry about things, I think. To not have to worry about the consequences or to not worry about how they come across. I think that's what a lot of people admire but can't do. And I find that for myself, I can't necessarily do that. So it's just interesting how, yeah, there's these characters. And yeah, it's just interesting how much we put them up on a pedestal um, when, yeah, things don't always work out. But anyway, that's just a little, um, I guess, reflection of today. Um, Yeah, apart from that, yeah, cat still causing chaos in the background. Um, Yeah, I guess for me, I don't think I could ever do the full free-spirited thing. I think part of the full free-spirited thing is that you don't care. And that's great. I think that's beautiful that you don't care, but you have to be careful with that same attitude of like do you not care about how like in this case with the um love struck in the city she didn't necessarily think through all the consequences it might have on the guy the fact that she is not completely true to who she really is um she doesn't think through that and when you're free-spirited you go with the wind and because you aren't thinking of the consequences there are other consequences that can affect other people that you just won't think through and so I think there's things to take away from that sort of person and things to not so um in one sense like I would love to take away the fact that I really struggle to start stuff that I dream about like when I say dream of I mean like my aspirations I just I get so scared that I'm gonna fail and that things aren't gonna work and so I just don't do them okay or I don't do things in the moment because I'm like it's gonna be too much effort I can't be bothered or I don't wear something I want to wear because I just think ah, just not gonna look great or I don't do something because I think it's gonna be too out there now I think that's where I could take a few notes from this sort of person because this sort of person they're truly I guess you could say authentic in themselves and just not worrying about that sort of thing and I think that's something that I could definitely learn from that sort of person but I guess a reason why I couldn't fully be that person is just you do I guess for me I do want to still care and there are people who do still care and are free-spirited but I do want to still care about other people's needs and sometimes the things that I want to do are going to affect others and yeah you need to keep that into consideration that's my spiel <laughs> I feel like I said that was my spiel like I don't know 10 minutes ago or something not that long ago um and then continued um but that's been my thoughts my coffee's probably gone cold by now kind of um not too bad but yeah so I feel like after watching it, it's kind of nice to be like actually yeah I should spend more time not necessarily always watching YouTube like I always do. Um, But doing some of the other things that I wanted to do, like I want to do some painting, I need to do some of that and I've been putting that off. Um, But yeah, anyway, thanks for listening to that. Um, Feel free to chuck in the comments um, what you think, what your thoughts are, Um, because the cool thing about our world is that there is... Uh, more than way more than a million people and therefore way more than a million different opinions and thoughts and I think that's what's really cool about our world um so feel free to share them um obviously don't attack other people that's not cool um but yeah anyway there you go I'll try and post some more music stuff and some more adventure stuff and maybe some more rant if you like this sort of thing let me know I will be more than happy to post more of that um thanks for putting up with my footage quality i am filming this on my laptop so it's not like peak quality um but oh well it's part of the charm i guess in all of it anyway thank you so much and yeah get tuned get tuned stay tuned